Hey everyone, today is day 3 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and as you can see the problem that we will be solving today is called to fetch the footer values. Now we have been given an input table. Now it has some information about some cards and their length, width and height. Now what we need to do is we need to write a query which is going to fetch the footer values from this table. Basically the last non-null value from each field we need to fetch and that that needs to be displayed in our output okay now to better understand this so you imagine that the input we have i think five fields and in the output we have only four fields so we don't need to consider the id field but for all the other fields we need to look for the non-null value from the bottom so the last non-null value that is kia sportage in this case right whereas in the case of length the last non-null value from the bottom is 12 and that is what is displayed here for width the last non-null value from the bottom is 15 and for height the last non-null value from the bottom is 18 okay so we need to write a query which is going to transform the uh, data which looks something like this and returns the output as shown here i hope you understand the problem statement now what you should do as part of this 30 day query challenge is go to my blog or to discord download the data set and try to solve it once you have solved it share your solution in the discord server and help each other okay now i will be giving you two different solutions to this problem one is going to be a very basic solution which i'm sure most of you would be able to solve it using that solution the second solution is going to be very interesting okay and it's going to be a little tricky as well so straight away let's look at my solution now i am using postgresql database you can solve it using any database and i'm using the pg admin tool okay uh, so i have already created the table uh, as part of this data set and you can see it here right now what is my solution number one so if i look at this data the first thought that comes to me comes to my mind is is there a way that i could join this field with each other right so that probably i could use a self join or something like that but i cannot because all the values are different right the second option that i was thinking is do i have any inbuilt functions that i could use maybe max or least or greatest or some other functions and i couldn't think of any inbuilt functions right the third that i the third thought that came to my mind is okay so i have this data and from each field i need to fetch the last value right so probably i could write one sql query for each field so so that i could just fetch the last value that one i could easily do it using the order by and fetch a limit of one right and then i could join the four queries together to come up with my final result okay and that is my solution number one okay so how am i going to do that is first i'm going to fetch the last value only for this field let's say for car so i'm just going to say select car from the footer table and i'll say where car is not null and i'll say order by id in descending order okay now if i run this you can see that when I run this, hopefully Kia Sportage should be at the top, then Toyota RAV4 and then Hyundai Tucson. Okay. So if I run this, you can see that that is exactly what I'm getting, right? And then here, if I could just put a limit of one, this is the final data that I wanted in this particular column, as you can see here, right? So I have got one part of or a part of the solution I have already got using this one query, right? And this is for one particular field. Now I could do the same for all the other uh, all the other fields okay so the first field was car if you remember the field names okay the first was car then i had length so i'll just copy that i'll just replace car with length here then i have for width same logic i just need to do it for every other uh, field and the final field is height and i will just do that here okay so if i want to show you for length ideally it should show me 12 and 15 from reverse and it should return me 12 okay and i think that's what it's returning whereas when it comes to i think width it should be 15 8 and 16 and 15 should be my final result that's what it's showing and when it comes to height i think it should be 18 15 and 20 and 18 should be my final result and that is what it's showing okay so now i have created four different queries to fetch the desired result from each of these fields right now how do i join them together now in order to join them i could simply use a cross join here okay so i could say from and then i could just move this here and i will give an alias for this like let's say car and i will use a cross join 
okay because why am i using cross join because i do not have any common join uh, co common column based on which i can form the join right and i can use cross join because i know that each of these fields are fetching just one record so when i when i do a cross join and if it's only fetching one record the final result also will, will only be one record and that is exactly what i want okay so i will say cross join i will give this name like length uh, and then I'll just copy the same thing to the other two sub queries and this will be my width and this will be the height. Okay. And if I just run this, you can see that I'm getting Kia Sportage 12, 15 and 18. Okay. This is the solution number one for this particular problem. Okay. I hope you understand this and I, and I have a feeling most of you guys would be able to solve it using this solution. Okay. Now let's go into a more interesting solution okay a more uh, i would say a little little tricky solution now as part of this solution number two first of all let's analyze the data so we have this uh, footer uh, table now what do i want to do what i want to do is i and for example let's only consider this length field okay maybe it's for me easier to explain okay so in this length field i have first there is a non-null value 15 then there is a null value then again i have a non-null value then i have two records with null values right ideally what i want to return is the last non-null value right and what i could probably do here is if i could partition the data based on value okay so wherever i find a value and if its next records are null then i could bring them together into a single partition and here also 12 is the value then next i have null values so all this together i could bring it into a separate partition okay if i could create these partitions and then from each partition if i could use the window function first value then from this partition it would return 15 from this partition it would return 12 and then i could again use the same logic order by id description and limit of one to get my final result okay maybe i am speaking too fast and it's not easy for you to understand but once i show you the solution you will make sense of it okay so but before i can create this partition first of all what i need to do is i want to create a flag okay so what i mean by that is so i'm just going to write it probably it will be easier to understand then so i'll just say footer and i'll not fetch all the field just for keeping it simple i'll say car and i will say length okay and here I'll just put a flag okay wherever there is a value i want the flag to be one wherever it is null i want it to be zero okay so i will say where case when length is not null then one if it is not null that means if it has some value then i want it to return one else i want it to return zero okay and i'm going to call it like flag and if i just run this now you can see that for the field length wherever there is value the flag is one and wherever there is null the flag will be zero okay what i want to do next is i want this to be one partition and i want this three record to be another partition how do i create like when i say partition basically i want to create segments okay different segments of the data and then for each segment i'll create one partition okay using the window function now how do i create a segment one way of doing that is if both of this record would have the same flag then probably i could consider that to be one segment and how can I do that? Now, one easiest way of doing that is I could use the sum function. Okay. So this entire case that I have, so let's say I will just copy and put it here and this whole thing outside the case, I'll put it inside uh, my sum. Okay. Now what this will do is, so if I just uh, maybe yeah show you like this. Now what this will basically do is when SQL process the first record, it will do it will execute this case it will return one because 15 is not null so it will return one so the sum will also return one and here it will have the sum value will be one when it goes to the second record it is basically null right but since it is null it will return zero so this will be zero but since it is a sum it will take the value from the previous record as well so previously was one one plus zero will return one and so and when it comes to the third record this case will return one but previously there was already a one so one plus one will be two and here again it will be two plus zero two and again two plus zero two so ideally what happens is i will get one one and two 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 so then i could create then basically i am giving the id one and two for my two different segments and based on that segment i could create the partition okay now one thing that you need to remember is 
Sum is an aggregate function. If I'm using sum like this, it's going to throw me an error, right? But rather, I could use sum as a window function. Why? Because I want the value of this sum to be returned corresponding to each record. That means I could use it like a window function by using the over clause. And here I could just tell order by ID because always I want to maintain this order, right? So, and let's say I'm just going to call it like length flag, okay? Uh, or maybe not length flag, I'll call it like segment. Okay, length segment. And if I run this, now you can see that I have got this new column and the value for the partition that I wanted to create or the segment that I wanted to create, for the first two record, the value is one. The last three record, the value is two. Okay, so I have created two different segment for this particular field. Okay, now based on this two different segment, I can create a partition, right? Now, on top of this query, I could say with CTE as, and I'll just move this to the right and I will just put this inside and here I will just tell select star from CTE. What I can do here is once I have this value, okay, so if I execute it's still the same, okay. I said I will create a partition, right? So for these two record, I'll create one partition. For these three record, I'll create another partition. I'll apply the first value window function so I can fetch the 15 and the 12, okay. How I can do that is I will just tell first value, okay. And the value that I want to fetch in each partition is the length, right? So I will say length and I want to partition the data by the new field that is the length segment, right? And again, order by the same ID that I want to maintain, right? And I'm going to call it like, let's say new length field, okay? Now, if I run this, now you can see that since this was one partition, within this partition, the value is 15 for both the record. Why? It fetched the first value within this partition, which was 15, and that is what is written. Whereas when it comes to the next partition or the next segment, which, which has this ID 2, it fetched the first value, which is 12, and all the three records are returned 12, right? Now, if you look at the last record here, just look at this column and this column. This is exactly what I want, right? Okay, maybe no, don't look at this column. Just look at the new length. The last column is 12, right? So here, if I could just say order by... Uh, ID in descending order, okay, and if I just run this, you look at the new length, this is 12, and that is exactly what I want in the length field, right, and here I could just tell limit of 1, and this will basically return me the 12 that I wanted, of course, I can just select the columns that I need, but for now, I have kept everything, okay, so this is the logic that I am using to basically as part of my solution to what I have done, I have basically from my input data, I wanted to create segments based on the data. I used the case statement, then I did a sum. Once I had the segments created, for each segment, I put that, I consider that as a partition. And then from each partition, I fetch the first value, okay? So if there are any null values, it will all be in the party, in the segment or in the partition where there is a non-null value on top of it or above that. And that will basically be the first value in that partition. And that is what I have taken, okay? So for example, let's say, you might think, what if there are more than one value in this particular case, right? In bits, in bits, what happens is these two will belong to. So when the first record gets executed, six, this will get the value as one. This is null. So one plus zero, this will also be one. This is a new value. So this will be two. This will be again a new value. This will be three. And then this will be uh, three as well. Okay. So the maximum, uh, the last segment would have the value as three. And that is what I will fetch. Okay. So just to show you how that looks, what I'm going to do here is I don't need this flag field and I will just say a star here. Okay. And I'm just going to repeat this logic four times. Okay. For four different fields. So first field is car. I'll just copy this and call it like car segment. My next is width. I'll just copy that and put it here. And the next one is height. And I'll just copy that and put it here, right? So if I just execute this query now, now you can see that just consider this width and this width segment, okay? So the first value is one. Since second record is null, both will get one. Third record is a new value. So it will get an increment that is segment is three. The fourth value is again a non-null value. So it will also get the next segment that is three. And the next one is null. So it will still get three, right? And then 
how many partitions do we have here? We have one, two and three partitions. So for each partition, if I fetch the first value, I'll get six, eight and 15, right? But I'm only interested in the last record, right? So the last record here will have 15, okay? So, and that is how I'll get my final result, okay? I hope that is clear. Now, I'll do the same thing here. So for repeating it for the four different fields. So the first one is car, I'll call it like car and new car. The next one is width. I'll call it like width segment. And this is new width. And the final one is height. I'll call it like height. I'll paste it here and I'll paste it here. Okay. And now if I just run the query. Okay. And yeah, if I run the query, you can see that just consider the last few fields. Uh, you have Kia Sportage 12, 15 and 18 in the last record, okay? That is what I wanted, 12, 15 and 18. And now if I do an order by ID in description, that Kia Sportage 12, 15 and 18 will be at the top. Then if I do a limit of one, it's basically going to return me the desired result. But I have too many columns here, so I don't need these columns. So I'll just put that back here. And if I just use the four columns that I need, then you can see that I'm getting the final result that I wanted, okay? I hope you understood this solution and you like this solution. Let me know in the comments below, which solution did you uh, like? And if you have any other solutions, share your solution uh, in the Discord server and uh, be active on Discord, help each other. And I'll see you again tomorrow for another interesting SQL problem. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.